Good morning, guys. Um, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, was it yesterday? No, I think it was the day before I went and got retested. Yeah, it was. It was the day before I went and got retested. So I'm waiting on those test results. And, um, I saw all of you guys' comments and um, prayers going up for us. And we just want to say thank you very much. Um, I am officially out of isolation to the point where um, I don't have to worry about um, passing the coronavirus on to anyone. Thank you, God. Um, so the boys are now, um, still in isolation. Um, you know, they don't like that, but more so the oldest one, uh, AJ, he don't like it. He don't like it at all. Um, but he understands. And guys, when I tell you my boy, my grandson, AJ held it down. He held it down. He changed his brother's pamper, boo-boo, pee, didn't matter what. He, he handled everything. So what I would do is once they went down for um, bed at night, I would, you know, do the cleaning and things like that. Um, so yesterday, um, I officially took over, took back over my duties and, um, my house and my kitchen. <laughs> um, so I gave him some money for, you know, being such a good, good young boy. Cause he, he not a man yet. He not a young man yet. So good young boy. He did really good. I, I, I'm so proud and I was just tickled to death about how he just took took the reins and he handled everything um really well um so yeah so yesterday um if y'all would have seen me i would have been like girl if you don't go sit down somewhere because i told aj yesterday i said nana gonna take back over everything and um she gonna do um some some decorating. He was like, "Why, no, no, you ain't ready yet." <laughs> I tell you, he they love me so much, and it just fills my heart with so much joy to know that that they love me like that. You know what I mean? It's it it's, it feels so good. So, yeah, if y'all would have saw me yesterday, y'all would have fussed at me and made me go sit down somewhere. But I did good. When I got out of breath, I did go sit down. Um, so it took me longer than normal, my normal, because um, y'all know it don't take me no time to put stuff together. But um, I had to take a lot of um, breaks. But I got... Just about everything done, um, rearranged and things like that. Um, I tried to stay up for the inauguration. I, I slept through that. So, um, hopefully they'll, I mean, right now they just showing bits and pieces of it on the news. Um. But I wanted to see the whole thing, and I did see that the young lady's um, poem, and she was so elegant and looked so beautiful, and it was so such a proud moment for everyone, not just because she's black, but for everyone, you know. Um, she really, she really did do everyone proud, and. Um, I'm going to let time tell how all this stuff is going to go, you know, um, 
y'all know I'm to a point where I need to see some stuff. Just, just winning is not good enough. I need to see some action. I want to see things turn around. I want to see unity. This is what um, Biden said that he is all about. And I, I'm anxious to see how all of this is going to turn out. Kamala, she looks wonderful. Um, she, too, is, is making history for us. Um, but I just want to see somebody keep their word, you know, that gets in there. And I wish, I don't know where everything came from, why everything has to be a split, you know, Democrat, uh, Republic. Why can't it just be some people that decide, you know what, I'm good enough to run for president of America or I'm good enough to be in the Senate and the Congress and these type of things. Why does it have to come down? Well, aren't we split enough as a nation? Can, why can't it just be, like I just said, people? Doesn't matter. You know, we'll listen to what your views are, what your um, platform is, and that sort of thing. But why does it have to be a division? That's what I would like to see go away. The, the division. I'm so sick and tired of it. You know, we got a division in race. We got a division in um, politics. We got a division in religion. We got a division in, in who you can love and how you can love and a division in everything. I'm so sick of the division. Like, I, it's time to stop all of that. It really is. And and it just gets on my nerves, just to be honest with you guys. It really just gets on my nerves. So right now it's 10 o'clock. Um, the kids have eaten. I scattered around the kitchen and um, got them something to eat. So um, I'm actually... Um, <laughs> getting ready to have my first cup of coffee in two weeks oh yeah that was something else I meant to tell you guys when I did that video that that was over a number of I had been out of work a number of days um, before I got my diagnosis I keep saying that before I got my test results I had been out um, already um, the main difference is I was not under the assumption that I um, had corona um, and I just got the test results on the 11th so um, my um, my crop progress is going pretty good I have to say I've actually always been one to kind of bounce back from illnesses pretty quickly. Um, so I really didn't see that this would be any different. Um, my uh, sitter, she's going to get retested again. My friend, um, she's going to get retested again. I don't know how, what this is going to do to me because I've been drinking tea mostly. But I had a a taste for some for some coffee. Old Jersey in my cup. <laughs> yeah, Folgers is in my cup. And I'm still rocking with this one. Oh, it's so good. To have that, um, I don't know what coffee do to your body, but it just, like, it goes straight through your veins. <laughs> um, 
And it tastes so good. But I'm um I'm in the bed right now, as you can tell. So I did a little bit too much because y'all know I'm still dealing with my my ribs too. So they still hurt. And um all that stuff I did yesterday is catching up with me today, this morning. So I think I'm going to um, get in the tub. I'm not going to take a shower because I still feel like uh, that heat will combat and make me weak. -er. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, be on the safe side and take a bath. And that will give me a chance to soak this rib too in some Epsom suds. And uh, today I'm just probably going to relax um, so I don't overdo it. Because I'm known for that, overdoing it. So, Man, I wish I knew that person that won that $731.1 million. They live in Maryland. I knew them and none of those numbers that's up here I would have chose I don't play on the regular anyway so I have to get my millions the old fashioned way but really I was trying to get on here yesterday and thank you guys um for all of your love that you sh have showered on us over here. Um, the boys are doing good. Um, still working with Jamari, trying to get him potty trained. He's doing good. He just went um, one and two. So we're going to get that mastered. So he can be officially a big boy. Because he, he really is a big boy. Y'all should have seen him yesterday. Y'all know he always at right there. Nana, you need help? So he was trying to help me um, <laughs> move stuff around yesterday. Oh, um, you know, when I feel, when I stop, um, talking like that, I'm trying to catch my breath, but also at the same time, I guess because I'm using, um, more air to talk, it makes me dizzy, so, um, that's what I've been um, trying to battle right now. I still got the um, congestion in my nose. Um, I still have the cough, but it's not as um, consistent as it was. So that's a good thing. Um, still, I've still been taking my Mucinex, um, and that helps me uh, get a cough up a lot of that uh, stuff and you know I think a lot of that um, is my rib too because it hurts you know when you inhale and exhale um, and it's on my right side right where my um, on the side of my um, breast breastbone is it's right there and that's where it, the the pain is and that's where it hurts so I've been you know taking the deep breaths in and out you know like the doctor said I haven't gotten any x-rays or anything like that I know I really should go and have it looked at but from everything I, I've Research is 
pretty much nothing they can do about um, the rib. It's not, I know it's not a piece of bone that's sticking me. I do know that. Um, so pretty much the ribs have to heal on their own. But, um... I'll be up and back up and running before you know it. I do. I thank God for the strength that he's given me, that willpower. And my mom always said, <laughs> and everybody that know me, that you're so stubborn. You're so headstrong. And I am. I, I, I have to admit that I am very headstrong. And um, bullheaded, those are the words that my mama used. She's so bullheaded, I am. I know it. Um, but in situations like this, I, I thank God that he made me the way he made me. Oh. Even when I have to um, burp, that hurts. Oh, don't even talk about having to sneeze, girl. Ooh, that hurts the worst. <laughs> and laughing. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, that's about it. I'm not going to hold you guys. I just wanted to um, come in here and just thank you so much for all the love. And oh, um, we reached over a hundred girl wait let me just stop playing we reached over 300 views on that um the tour um video of the house of the apartment yes so um be on the lookout for a video um i can't go out yet because you know the boys are still on um their isolation but as soon as that's up i want to go ahead and mail out the um the hair for you guys helping me reach over y'all you guys came through and we did more than 100 views so i thank you for that as well um I'm hoping that we can keep um, that habit going um, because, you know, with me being out all these days, um, that means I'm out of money. So um, those views will d definitely be needed um, to help. You know, get some money coming into the house some way, somehow. Um, let me find out who this is that's chiming the phone and being real disrespectful right now. Um, plus, I need to kind of take it easy. Uh, right now, I don't want to go back to sleep. So, I'm probably just going to um, get up make the bed um so I'm not tempted to get back in here and then um we'll um meet again in another video you guys um already know stay focused on God we can't do anything in this world without them. We can't walk, talk, breathe, sneeze, cough, do any of those things without him. So keep him first and foremost. Love on yourself. Love on each other, your family. Stay prayed up because we need it. God bless America, honey.
pray for everyone that is out of work. I'm seeing right now on TV it's the unemployment rate has gone up. The small businesses are really being hit hard. So let's just keep everybody lifted up in prayer because God will make a way. Sometimes you got to go through the storm all the time so you can see so you can see your blessing the next the next path you're supposed to take and just never never lose sight of God and to my fancy beauty thank you for that that you sent me yesterday thank you so much I love that passage I love it and I, I live by that I do, because uh, I know my strength comes from him. So, if you ever feel like you're alone, you're not ever alone. You only see one set of footprints. That's God carrying you. And, and I always keep that in my mind. I always, whenever I feel like I'm up against something that I cannot win, that I feel like I cannot win, I always remember wherever I'm lacking, he going to carry me the rest of the way. And I want y'all to always know that. Always know that. In your heart of hearts. It's a hard thing to do. It is. It's a hard thing to do. Practice make perfect. So, I will um, close here. It's never goodbye. It's always see you later. You stay loving on me, and I'll be here for you. All right, fancy beauty symbols. I love you so much. Always Jesus. Always God. Always Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He got us. They all got us. In the name of Jesus. There's no, nothing you can't overcome. Nothing. Alright, you guys. Let me get off of here before I start preaching. This is a ceremony. A sermon. <laughs> Alright. I love y'all. And I'll see you real soon, okay? All right, love you.